Welcome to Oklahoma City University. I'm Victoria Swinney, the director of the Delaney Brown Library and a librarian for nursing. What that means for you is that I'm your first point of contact if you have questions about the library or library research. And what I would like to do in the next few minutes is to introduce you to library research for graduate students in nursing. In initial orientations, when you're overwhelmed with information, I like to try to get you to remember three key things about research in nursing at OCU. The first is to use CINAHL-COMPLETE. The Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature provides the best single source of academic journal articles in nursing, and searching it by itself provides additional control over your searching for faster and better results. The second is to use advanced search when using CINAHL-COMPLETE. This provides additional search limits, including a research article limit that can be really useful. Uh, the third is to contact me if you need help. I really like helping nursing students find research articles. It's my favorite part of my job. Every time you need help and you reach out to me, you make my work day a little better. So let's take a look at CINAHL Complete. There are many ways to get to it, and I want to show you two. The first is through your D2L course. You'll have an option there for library resources. It should take you to a page that looks a little like what you're seeing here. Um, at the very top, you'll see a link to nursing journal articles. I'll show you that in just a moment. That's the most useful. We also see APA style, 6th and 7th edition, which you'll be using 7th, books and dissertations, research in general, videos, etc. There's also a place to book a study room and make an appointment and contact me. So those are the basics there. So if we go to the Nursing Journal Articles page, you'll see the repeat of the three things I want you to remember. There's a link to Sino Complete. There's a search tips and how, about how to use the advanced search option and there's a link to contact me. So if we go ahead and click on the CINO complete link it's going to take me first to what's called an easy proxy login screen. It's going to ask for your username and password that's generally going to be the same as your OCU blue link login and then it will take you into the advanced search screen. Now there are more ways to do it and I wanted to show you one other. The other I want to show you goes from the library's homepage, so you don't have to go through D2L. Uh, you can come directly, search for OCU Library, then go to the search and find and database list. This will list all of our databases. We can limit it just to nursing databases. And then it will recommend CINAHL Complete and list other databases that might be useful to you. In the case of when you click on that, you'll get the same repeat of the Easy Proxy screen where you'll type in your username and password, and then you will get to the uh, CINAHL Complete screen. So once you're here, you're ready to do your search, type in the keywords for the search that you're interested in. I'm going to use a very generous, general searching subject, which is general, uh, generally graduate nursing education. Pardon my misspeaking. And when I've done that search, I get a general list. I've got 10,000 articles. So the next thing we're going to want to do is to limit it. I want to show you two limits today. They're the most important. The first is on this first page. I can limit by year. The first article in this list was published in 1937. A lot's changed since then. Let's make it 2015 to the present. So I'll type in 2015 and hit enter, and it will research. Now I only have 2,438 articles. But I mentioned using the advanced search because it had more limits. Let's look at some of those. There's a show more under that date limit, which takes us to the list of all of the limits. Lots of things here. I recommend that you only use one at a time and limit as you go and see what results you get when you make that limit because too many limits means not enough articles. So I'll limit to research articles. And now I have 1,387. I would probably want to continue limiting if this were a real search, but since I'm just wanting to show you the basics, we'll look at this list. So the first thing is if you click on the title of the article, you'll get more information than what you're seeing on this screen. Uh, my favorites on this longer screen include the abstract, where you get a summary of the article, let you know whether or not this is something you really want to spend time finding and getting. And the other is the site option. You can click on that and scroll down to APA. You'll find the APA citation. You can highlight that 
right click and copy it, then you can paste it into your uh, paper and you have the basics of the citation ready. I recommend that you paste as plain text so that you don't mess up the formatting on your paper and then you need to go back and italicize your journal article, the journal title, and then also check the capitalization on the rest of the uh, citation. That's the thing they're most likely to get wrong. There are also options here to email a copy to yourself and several other things that you may be interested in as well. But then I want to go on to show you how you get to the full text. So I'm going to go back to the results list to look at these. So this first one, the first option it gives me is to request through ILL. That's Interlibrary Loan. And uh, that is a service where we borrow the, a copy of the article from another library, they send it to us, and then we email it to you. Um, typically, that for an article, that's going to take three to five days. The three weeks is for books, so you don't need to worry about that. If it's articles, it's seldom going to be anywhere near that long. Um, but I do like to tell people that we do have limits on the number of articles that we can request. We can request five articles from any specific journal title each year for free, and after that we have to pay a fee for each article that we use. So the first five articles that we get requested, we'll just send them to the patron who requested them. When we get to number six, we're going to send you an email saying, do you still need this? And if you say yes, we will go ahead and get you a copy. And the library will pay that. It's much cheaper than any other way to get access, so don't worry about it. But we don't want to spend it if you can't use the article. So the next thing that I wanted to show you was um, other ways to get articles. So this next one has this full text from Ovid, and that means the full text is something that we subscribe to. You can click on that, and it should bring up the article from the um, publisher's page from Nurse Educator with a link to the full text. If that doesn't happen, let me know, and we'll help you out with that. The next one, we're going to skip some of these. We're going to skip down to this one that says PDF full text. That's also going to open the PDF full text of the article. It will be within the EBSCOhost Central Complete search function, and you can then use this print and download from within Adobe to get the full article. Go back to the list again to show you yet another way they come up. Number 10 says full text from Science Direct. That again will take you out to the publisher's website directly. You can download the PDF and go from there. And I want to show you one more, and it's on the next page. And this is a bit iffier. You'll find the find full text many times on the citations. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It does work on this one. I want you to see what it looks like when it's working. And then it will take you into our new um, library catalog system and look for a copy that might be available online for free somewhere. And it came up with one and it clicks on the view full text and then it will take me to the publisher site and this one's available there. So that's another way to get it, but if it doesn't work when you do that, don't worry, just back up and request it through interlibrary loan and we'll find it for you. So I want to conclude with a reminder and a return to where we started, and that is remember to use Cinel Complete, use the advanced search to do the features that you saw today. Some of them are limited to um, advanced search, and be sure to contact me when you have questions. Now before I go, I want to show you one more way to contact me, and that is back from the library's homepage, there's a research guide section so that if you're not in D2L and you want to get to my contact information and the other things that you saw in D2L, you can get to them here by scrolling down to nursing and then you get the nursing research guides and contact information for me. And that's the last thing I want to remind you of is that you, if you have questions, be sure to ask me. Here's my contact information phone number, email, and the website that you just saw will all get in touch with me. Please let me know when you have questions. Thank you.